Hey everyone, let's make this data pop, let's turn it into some pie charts and get the visualization looking as great as it can. So let's get started. On the left hand side of the screen you can see a small table with a list of fruit and a fruit quantity and we simply want to turn it into the pie charts we can see on the right. Each of these pie charts have various levels of modification and effort required. So we'll start with the left one which is the most simple of the pie charts. So the first step is simply highlighting the table, including the headings, going up to the ribbon, selecting insert. Within that section, there is a portion for charts. I am looking for the pie chart icon, and I'm going to select the very first icon within that pane, and we can see the pie chart. The data is now represented. I'm simply going to bring that below the original, resize it by grabbing the corners, and the data is available now. As we know, the basic of charts is probably not going to suit our need, and we want to update it and modify it slightly for our viewers just to make it make more sense and just be a little bit more visually pleasing. So again, we are going to highlight the table, go to insert charts again. This time when we select pie, we're going to include a 3D pie. And you can see now that the chart is slightly different to the one that we had earlier. Just going to resize that again to fit on screen. And it's slightly different from the one above. We, there's, a, there's a couple of things we want to do. We want to make the background transparent so we can add it to other presentations, change the heading to make it more, uh, make more sense, and update the legend so it just pops that little bit more. So when you select a pie or a chart, a couple more options appear on the ribbon. And the very first thing under chart design, it gives you a few options to change the pie. So I'm going to select style number eight. These are pre-designed pies. And number eight gives it a more of a rounded 3D look, but it's still not quite where I want to go. And this is where I need to do some manual changes. So the first step is I'm going to delete the headings or the data labels by simply selecting the data labels and pressing delete. And I want to bring back that legend. So again, in the chart ribbon, under chart design, on the very left, very first thing, you can add some chart elements. The ones that aren't grayed out are available. I'm going to choose legend add it back to the bottom of the pie and put it back in there. I want to make sure that the heading makes sense for the chart. So I'm going to simply select the heading, highlight over the top and type what I want it to be called. Share of fruit. Final step is to update the background and the borders of the chart and the legend. So the whole chart in itself, I'm going to select the white space, bring the dots around, and on the right hand side, you can now see that the a pane comes up. And I'm going to go to the bucket fill and line icon. Go down to fill, select no fill go down to border, select no line, and it has removed the background and border. But I want to bring that back just for the legend, so I'm going to select the legend itself, go back to the format pane, select the bucket fill and line, 
and I'm going to add a solid fill. Make that white. Add a solid line for the border and change that to a dark grey. Click outside of the pie and now you can see that it matches the chart above. So within one minute you can update a very basic pie chart into something that makes more sense for your viewers. As I mentioned earlier, there are a number of options you can do with the chart. One that I like is with the darker background. It looks a little bit more slick. Uh, I've added some data labels and changed the colors of the pie and even bought and emphasized one particular portion of the pie as I might be describing that in a presentation or a report. So let's create this final pie and go from there. So the first steps are exactly like before. I'll do that quickly. I'm going to highlight the table, select insert, go to the pie icon, select 3D pie, and just resize that under the original pie. With the pie selected, just wanted to make it look a little bit more crisp with the dark background. So the ribbon now has a few more options with the pie selected. I'm going to select the down arrow, give me all the pre-designed options and select style number seven. First step is to change the heading, make more sense. Share of fruit. And next step is I want to add some data labels to show the percentages. I'm going to select the pie wedges with dots now around the pie, right click, add data labels. And now by selecting the data labels, I've got a few more options. In the format pane, I'm going to go to the option that looks like a little bar, uh, bar chart gives me some label options and all I really want to see is the percentage it gives you a number of different options to add or take from the pie but I'm going to make it very simple and just show the percentage the next step is to bring out a piece of the pie to emphasize it. This instance I brought out apples. So I'm gonna grab the wedges again. You can see they're all selected. To select the, just the apples wedge, I'm gonna click again into the apples. And now just the apple is selected. And I'm just gonna simply drag and move. The final stage is just to resize the pie and change the colors to match the color of the fruit with the color of the wedge. As you can see, I can select the pie in its entirety. It's got a little square around that. I'm just gonna make that pie a little bit bigger within the pie chart area. I'll just make it just that little bit bigger and now I'm going to change the colors by simply selecting each of the individual wedges. Again, I've selected the entire wedge portion. Click individually to select the apples. I'm going to go to the solid fill in the format. Change to green. Select oranges. Change the color to orange. Plums for purple, watermelon, red, and pineapple, yellow. So now you can see we have a chart that pops a little bit more. And I can see one last thing. This data point now looks a little bit hidden on the yellow background. So I'm going to select the data point and you can see they're all selected again. Click individually to select that one specifically 
and drag it to a location that makes more sense. So there we go, three pie charts with a little bit more difficulty in each of them, but can be done once you get used to it in a matter of 30 seconds to a minute. And thank you for your time. Enjoy.